We got big news that broke yesterday. The Red Sox punishment, MLB handed it down the day before draft day, which at first I was like, eh, MLB is too dumb to plan that, but they definitely planned it. And we're like, yeah, we'll just put it there and then get on with it. They lose their second round pick in the 2020 draft. And the replay operator, JT Watkins, He's banned from all of baseball in 2020, and he's banned from being the replay operator in 2021, but he can still be part of the team in 2021. He just can't do the same job he was doing before. He just can do a different job. So they can just make up like a bullshit title, like quality control coach, and he can do the same thing, but have a different title. And they said Alex Cora is banned for all of this season and the 2020 playoffs, but... That is for his participation with the Astros and has nothing to do with the Red Sox. So in conclusion, they lose a 2020 pick and they ruined a guy's life when they didn't have to ruin his life. And that's it. I'm all over the place on this because one, I don't think they really did anything to deserve a punishment. Like I get that they were warned once with the Apple Watch scandal. I don't even know what to call it. So, like, MLB, I guess, had to lay down some form of punishment. But I will tell you this right now. You're going to use video to decode sequences from second base. That is Everyone just, does it. Yeah, Everyone does it, and it's not illegal to do it. Now, they're saying, yeah, it was during the games, and he was doing it and giving it to players, blah, 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 blah. But if I wanted to go on my own, and, and use the video that's on my iPad and look at the catcher signs from second base, you could do it. And everybody yeah. does it. Yes. So, so it's just a weird thing for me. And we're talking about JT Watkins here, who was a former player. Okay. He's got a job. He does his job. I'm telling you this, the guy didn't do anything that he wasn't told to do or didn't do anything like that was so egregious that he deserves to be banned for a year. He didn't do anything like that. Okay, it's just part of the game. You're in there. You're trying to help the team out. What I read was a lot of times he was just referencing the scouting report and say, this is what they're using at second base. Like this more exonerates the Red Sox than punishes them in any way. What absolutely. The, absolutely. What, what the statement said was that this dude, the replay operator, would build scouting reports like you're saying, Trev. And we said this way back in the day. Anyone with a laptop who has YouTube can study the sequences of a catcher at home on their couch. And you can build a report that you can go into the next game and do. So that's kind of what he did. But what they're saying he did wrong was say they're in the fourth inning and he's sitting in the replay room and he's like, Oh shit, that scouting report isn't correct anymore. They switched. He would go tell them guys, they switched. They're doing this now. And that's illegal because you're using it in game. The report also says it was only effective when there was a runner on second base. And that's a huge game changer from what the Astros did, where it was every single pitch, every single at bat. So the report says there's a huge difference. There's my, my initial response was like MLB realized they were in the weeds here and that they opened this investigation and now they did find wrongdoing quote unquote, but really kind of like decriminalized wrongdoing because every team does it forever. And they gave him like an easy punishment. I do not understand why they had to throw JT Watkins under the bus. If they didn't punish JT Watkins, there would be 0.000 people saying, how come that replay guy didn't get punished? (laughs) (laughs) Like there would be... No one. There was no need at all to throw that dude under the bus, but they did. So it's funny. Yeah, Not for him. L- let's let's get a couple things out of the way. Uh, let's not even bring up the Astros anymore, because I mean, uh, like we said, this isn't in the same realm. This the, these are in different worlds. Um, I will say, I mean, I do think the Red Sox did something wrong. You're you're not supposed to do the live in game, and they did it especially after the commissioner specifically told them and a couple other teams do not do this. So they had to get punished and they got punished. And part of it, which I thought was interesting from Rob Manfred slash also partially laughable 
was they said that this year's draft pick was they only did the second round pick because they factored in that it may only be a five round draft. So that was supposed to be in theory more than just a second round pick. But again, that's starting just to get into the weirds of this year. And yeah, I, I don't know. I, I understand what you guys are saying that it, it happens around the league, but no other team has been punished or caught for it, which leads me into my final thing about JT Watkins or whoever got through under the bus here is that we now do live in this comical world where the team I just said, I won't bring up again. Um, Think about these the questionnaires that went out in these interviews. It was, it's it's what can we find out? And what they found out was that JT Watkins was telling the guys that the sequence changed. So JT Watkins got his harshest penalty, and I'm sure the players had no involvement. It's such a ridiculous thing. Yeah, it's like, such a ridiculous thing because, look, these guys – I mean, they work their ass off. The replay guys, they're putting together all the video for you. They're in these little dungeons. There's no light coming in. It's bad for their health probably, and they're sitting there on a computer all day long, and all they want to do is help. It's all they want to do. They want to make you a better baseball player and in turn help the team. That's what this guy was doing. It's ridiculous, and I would be remiss if I if, – if the Red Sox – aren't taking care of this guy on the side, they should be taking care of this guy on the side. Like this guy, his severance package better be big. If it's not big, they need to step up and and make sure that he's taken care of this year because he's taking the fall. I don't even like, think that the Red Sox were like, yeah, it was him. Like the Red Sox players or any, I think it was more commissioner was like, I need someone to punish, give me a name. This whole thing reeks of Manfred being like, I fucked up the Astros thing. I opened up another investigation when I shouldn't have because I'm just going to fuck this one up. Let's just get rid of this immediately and just dumped it before the draft and gave no punishments and was like, I'm done with it.